the first time in school history, Villanova takes its home floor as the number one team in the country. So good for the Jenkins for the lead. Got it. You call 
called it. You called it. Excellent. He's, and he converted. Runs in the free throw line, pull up jump. Maybe the most memorable, memorable game of this tournament in the Big East. And now Chase has it poked away by Reynolds. Here comes Archie Diacono. Booth puts it in. And Villanova back on top. Poor passing angle that time. Ahead for Archie Diacono. He pulls up for three. Got it. What he can do. Archie Diacono left open for three and makes him pay. Harden gets fouled and one. In transition, Hart with a finish in the foul. A 13 to 1 run. Pick has it blocked. Archie Diacono pulls up for three again. Benoit with five on a shot clock. At this point, going over. It's okay. Okay with what? They took that one point lead at the half. Georgetown came out looking strong to start the second half. But then the run by Villanova and they will advance to the Big East semifinals. They will await the winner of our next game, Providence against Butler. Turns the corner. No look pass. Woo! He put that one on a dime. Ryan Archie Diacono on the backside of his left arm. Jenkins rips through. Big smooth. <laughs> Chris Jenkins telling him this is personal. It's not personal. It's business, baby. This is the one we've all been waiting for and won both regular season meetings by one and nine points. Toss in the tap and it's controlled by the Wildcats. lead at the break. This is the biggest deficit at halftime for Villanova this year. Kicks it. Jenkins! And he banked it down! For the equalizer, Chris Jenkins! Six to shoot, Jenkins. That's it, no time to the Chris Moore again! Archie Diacono. Jenkins. Let's
lets it go, top of the key. 64-64. Two minutes to play. Gagano. Jenkins steps back. Misses the second. Outlet pass. Archie Diakono from court. Slips. Fires. And that's it. The Seton Hall Pirates. Their legacy is going to be based on what they do in the, in the NCAA tournament. Friday, Sunday games to be played in Brooklyn, New York, and the number two seed in the South, the Wildcats of Villanova, that Big East Tournament Championship loss to Seton Hall. Everybody had them pegged as a number one seed. They come in in the South at number two and our first team out of the Big East. Now, who do the Wildcats face? Out of the Big South, they will meet the 15th seed Bulldogs of UNC Asheville. They won the Big South Tournament Championship beating Winthrop. Now, they're in the South bracket. That means they do not get to play in Philadelphia if they advance to the Sweet 16. So that's a bit of a change to what most people have in their, in their bracket. Let's check the number seven seed in the South out of the Big Ten. Our second Big Ten team of the night, the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawkeyes won five games over the top 25 teams. They finished at 21 and 10 on the year and 12 and 6 in the conference. And the number 10 seed, the Owls of Temple, the second team out of the American Athletic Conference. They won the American Athletic Conference regular season championship. Iowa, lower seed than people anticipated, particularly how they played middle of the season, had a late game, late season swoon, but this is a dangerous team as a seven seed. I see them perhaps move, I see them moving on against Temple and then being able to give Villanova all they want if they advance. And then Iowa, the other team that I'm looking for, and Iowa could move on and get to the Sweet 16. That's how good they are. And I think Iowa will come out of that quad. Committee rebounding. Ooh, that's a tough pass. Yes, it is. One on two, no numbers here, but it doesn't matter. Jalen Brunson off the glass and in. Yeah, so we're going to throw a little 1-3-1 one, one possibly at you here from our end. Okay. <laughs> and see how it is upstairs. <laughs> Archie Diakono with the pass. Wow. The size is 6'11". Mm -hmm. Slightly taller than anybody playing for Ashley. Back cut. Mikkel Bridges. High somebody, I think. And uh, down deep, Phil, Poole, Phil Booth is yes. fronting. There we are. This would be a layup. Or a dunk. We would have laid it up. He yeah. dunks it. Bridges with the good deflection. Just has to wait for it. Here's Archie Diacono hustling. Jumper. Yes! Holy cow! He's up on a 15-4 run. Largest lead of the game. And let's go to Jay Wright. Who Lost to Seton Hall in the Big East final and probably cost him a number one seed and a pass. Up and under, no. Ochefu dishes. At the other end, here's Booth. Oh! And one. <laughs> then we can play again. Empty your saddles, <laughs> Mr. Monarchal. At that pace. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Henry Lowe. Into the corner, that's for three! What a great shot behind the Villanova. Big win for Villanova. Archie Diakono, that's for three, and... Oh my gosh! Wow! Let's get the bounce. That's it. For three, Hart. Nope. Ochefu makes a miss. Yeah. That one I think went through, Vern. Look <laughs> for somebody to track that shot and try to block it. Bridges off the glass. Brunson route. Jenkins goes high. And they've got the basket and the free throw. This is 
Jalen Brunson, the freshman. Guarded by Cassell, that's Jenkins for three. Archie Biaki, Phil Booth for three. Perfect. Okay. He's from Bettendorf. Just a little bit six out of their last nine games. And they're giving up threes, but they're playing like it. Brand McCaffrey has seen enough. Arch is smart enough as they come back with a two-on-one again. Here we go. Layup. Oh no, yeah. be unselfish. Exactly. I mean, you have choices. Three huge free throws. Oh. And then gets away with it. Well, Iowa Hawkeyes. Oh, here's the after pass. That was relatively easy. Now we're going to call. Back outside. Jumper at the buzzer. And it goes. My gosh. Wow. Jay Wright's team has a clinic going on at the offensive end of the floor. for that senior class if they get to plan Sweet 16. Moving forward, as they say.
to shoot. It's Jenkins. Number two, oh, can't put it right in. Oh, what a play. Bridges. Oji Diakono getting in there, getting a deflection, and then Bridges getting on the floor. That ice is... How about... A lot of guys played well, Jim. Bridges on the floor, spectacular. Selden throws it down court. Hart comes up with it. Two seconds, one. That's it. Josh Hart throws the ball in the air. Cats win. Cats win. Cats win. Bring on Houston as Villanova picks up their 33rd win and ties last year's team for the most wins in a single season in school history. And the Cats are going to the Final Four for the fifth time in their storied history. 64-59. Villanova moving on. You've got to love it. Gonna load up the three, and he buries it. Oh my goodness, what a big time maneuver. Hart with the three, Ooh. and Villanova suddenly is on fire. How about these kids? Stepping up. What a difference it is from being in the final eight versus being able to say you're a final four team. When you're a parent, you think your kids are the greatest, and then when you see them live that out and become Great. It just makes your heart swell. For us to get here, uh, all the work we put in, the dreams are coming true right here. Kale Bridges had two big time, a steal to get Josh in the free throw line to make two free throws and then the, uh, to dive in this ball at the yeah. end of the game also. So Mikhail Bridges, shout out to him, freshman, really learned uh, how, to, how to become a big time player throughout the season. But it, everything about this has been great and um, we, we're, we're not done yet. So hopefully we can uh, focus on Oklahoma and get a win there. You know what? All your teammates are saying the same thing. You're not done yet. Well, congratulations, Ryan. Terrific game. The Villanova Wildcats leave here, Houston bound. Well, you're on to the final four. You have to face an Oklahoma team. We lost to earlier in the season. You know them and Buddy Hill very well. What's it going to take? I don't know because we didn't have the answer for them. They beat us good. They beat us real good. And Buddy was unbelievable today. But we're going to enjoy this one and we're going to try to figure out. Enjoy it. You deserve Thank it. Congratulations. Thank Jim.
Hampshire, Illinois, number one, Jalen Brunson. Are you ready? Uh, looking forward to it. Leading up to the final four. Underway. With Oklahoma taking the tap. Big block and a nice. And Vegas 
tries to take it again. It does. Here's Jackson giving it up to Hicks. Put back by Johnson. We have a timeout. Biggs Loman. Has Carolina changed the momentum? Yeah, they have. Nice cross. Outside. Big shot right here. Barry's three. Yes. Right back. Right. This game, Brunson two to shoot. Booth got it away, and it's his night. I'll say. I'll force him wide. Nice screen. Here's Page. Yes. Oh, wow. They are tough with the inbounds pass. Hit and follow by the guard. The little guy. Back into it. A 10-3 stretch. Got it down low. Johnson makes it home. And it's down to one. Goes ahead and takes it inside. And it somehow rolls out. Carolina fights for it and gets the putback. Boy, hard had it. They couldn't lock the deal up. It's Barry. Who had the hot hand from three in the first half. They're going to have to do something from the outside now. It's Page off balance. Puts it up. Leadership qualities, qualities above the norm, and lifted his team with a chance now with four to go. Villanova's got to get a quick push to get it up the floor. I would say, <laughs> look, at, look at the kid there. The length of the court with Archie Diakono. Three seconds at midcourt. Jenkins gives it to Jenkins for the championship. <laughs> This scene right now, you know what it takes to build a champion. What do you think it was that made this team a champion? The hustle, the togetherness, and the love for each other. You know, people don't use that word love too often, but that's what these kids share. That's why, one of the reasons why they won. You know, as soon as we called the timeout, we all knew what play we, we were running. And, I, I mean, I've had a lot of problems with always giving up the ball at the end of the game for just have some confidence in. And, uh, you know, as Coach was talking about the play, I was just looking in my mouth, you better shoot it. I was very, very serious. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he came, came up, passed it to Chris, Chris with the shot. And after the game, you know, Arch came up to me and was like, I know you said I should shoot it, but, you know, Chris was open, just do what we do. You know, I have so much respect for him, man. It's amazing. Every practice, that's something we run every play, and that, and that read was there. Uh, it's really we read off what Archie does, whatever way he goes. And uh, he found Chris, and Chris was calling for the ball when Archie crossed half court. He was wide open. I was, I was standing right next to him. I thought it was money. I sat next to him. I was like, this is cash. He stepped in one, two. I was like, this is going in.